So I'm in a Hong Kong office. Uh, we're demonstrating the HMI, the SunSync HMI that uses with all of our systems. So we'll go through a basic understanding and some of the programming of the HMI. Last time we just did a, a dummy run. This is actually operating, it's actually functioning. So we've got a, a, on the system, we've actually got a PCS, an STS, an MPPT, all working in conjunction with the battery and the BMU and the battery. So there's a number of important settings. So let's go through the important settings. You, you explain the settings, what we've got. Graham. Uh, so this is the this is the parameter setting. This is the operation of the uh, three phase and three wear turn to three phase and four wear. So the system can operate either as a three wire system, which is for delta grid, or a four wire system, which is known as a star grid. Center point being the neutral. If you work in a delta grid, there is no neutral. So we now switch the grid side to four wire, which is star. And now it's the four wires. Right. So now it's running. It's running in star. But we have an issue because when we're running in star. The voltage is different because of the three phase we, we were discussing about okay. it. So the peak voltage requirement is much higher if you're running in a star configuration as a delta configuration. So the lower point voltage on a delta configuration is around 600 volts DC. If you're running in a star configuration, we're looking at about uh, 680? Yes, 680. So 680 volts. Okay, sorry, carry on, carry on, Graham. Oh, so now it's turning to the three phase and three wires. And the unbalance it, it needed to turn to the four wires. And so now it's three phase and three wires. So it's in so three three wire is actually weak, is delta and four wire is star, so it's a very clear configuration. Okay. So, is this, all, is this running at the moment? Now it's three phase and uh, three wires. Now we turn on. Now it's seeing here is the off grid operation. And we could see all the data from the 125 AC modules. So what we're seeing on here, this is the real-time data, which is the battery voltage is 632 volts coming in uh, there's no battery current because we're not drawing current at the moment so the switch is on and then we'll see the ac voltage coming in so this is it running in off-grid mode yes we just wait a while for it to, to synchronize so we can listen to the yeah. startup yeah, so we're actually seeing on here, uh, so if you go back onto the other screen. No, 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 the, the other screen, no, not the, the home screen, the, the, the real, data data, screen. real data data screen. Uh, okay, so we've actually got on here now, we can see the AC voltage, which is the, the delta voltage, which is across phases, is showing 379, which is actually low, but Hong Kong voltage is about 380, so it's okay, it's matching within the Hong Kong voltage. We're seeing the AC current is 2.9 amp uh, across. Now, it's slightly imbalanced because we're just using incandescent lamps to, to control it. We can see our frequency is running at 49.99 hertz. Um, I, I don't know why it's not showing 50, but it's, it's pretty pretty close. Um, we actually can also see, we can also see the power factor showing a power factor of one, so it's showing power factors parity. Um, so am I, am I covering everything? So obviously you can see at the top, which is our battery voltage, as we spoke before, the battery voltage would appear to be low 
if we're actually running in star format as opposed to delta format. I did query that, um, but it's to do with the PCS only has a, a buck converter, it's not a buck boost. So it needs the higher voltage because you've got the peak and trough of the wave formation and needs to cover both based on a star formation which is neutral to line. And so neutral to line is 220 volts times 1.4 and then obviously they're looking for peak to trough which is double it. Um, so that's where, we get, that's where we're getting the voltage from. So we'll go through the other settings. Saving llama. So the other information that we can see. Yes, we go into the on bridge now. Saving llama. Saving llama. The modulus one is going to boost uh, running on grid moves. Yeah. Now it's turned to the on grid. Now it's on grid working. So it's, it, it's seamless. Yes, it's seamless. So we didn't even see a changeover. So we switched from on grid to off grid to on grid. It was completely seamless. Yes. I didn't even see a flicker. I didn't see anything at all. It yes. was completely seamless. Yes, of course. Well, well, that, well that, is, that was fast. Okay, I didn't actually notice it. So I was expecting to see that the lamps flicker and we're using incandescent lamps. So you can nearly always see a flicker. So that is really, really good. Um, so, so, so moving from off grid to on grid is completely seamless. Yes. Amazing. Okay, uh, but when we go backwards the other way, is there a, is there a, is there any is there any delay? So go back off grid. So we go. Now we're grid. going to see. To see. Now it's off grid. So has switched to off grid already? Yes, already. Wow. Okay, so that's switching. Okay, okay. Here's the challenge. Switch it back onto on grid. Put it back on on grid again. And I'm going to, if I disconnect the grid completely. Will we see any flicker? Yes. We will see a flicker, or we won't see a flicker. Is it seamless? So we're we're running on grid now. Now it's on grid. Okay. Now and we change it to the non plan. Non plan. So you can just just uh, as the uh scenarios sudden grid. Yeah. So so what so, so what is non non plan? So you, you needed to change to the non plan. Right, so I just want to see, so this makes it seamless? Yes. So non plan is seamless? Yes. So what, are, okay. So now, the setting the now it's not that you could cut off the PC, PC. and we see what happens. Well, a lot of people claim they have seamless and then they, they say, oh, well, it takes a certain second or whatever. Um, okay, right. So, Joe, just turn, just turn the AC off. Can you just turn the, the, the three phase off? You put the camera. I can see it, I can see it, I can talk. Just, just use the camera. Just turn. Because, so you can measure the uh, time. Nice joke. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, go on. Yes. Yeah. Just, just stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right, okay. It was nothing. It was nothing. It was nothing. Okay, we're back on again. Okay, very impressive. 
Very, very impressive. Action. Yeah, put the power back on. Action. <laughs> Thank you, Penelope. <laughs> That's Joe. <laughs> is it? Hold on. He's there. <laughs> so it is real. We're not. We're not sort of mimicking it or whatever. We're actually really testing the equipment. Okay. So is there any? That's a really good. So we can use off grid, on grid mode. So one of the important things about using it is for peak power shaving. Now we haven't set a meter upon this. So we need to set the meter for the demonstrate peak power shaving. So it's something we, 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 will, we will check later. Is there anything else that we need to understand about the basic HMI? For, you, for the user, obviously understanding the difference to if they're going to be on a, a delta grid or a star grid, we've got the configuration. Understanding the voltages, so obviously for star grid we need higher voltage, for delta grid we need low voltage. Understand the differences, understand the settings, we understand it's almost seamless, the transfer. Uh, is there anything else that people would need to be aware of the setting, the general settings? Is there anything else that... The various equipment, such as the yeah,就是通用的设置这里这里啊这里吧就这些这些都是不用动的这些这些都是不用动的 when the uh, on grid mode, the three phase and four wires, uh, it's set for how many percent for the power? Then,分别对应的是A项,B项,C项的功率嘛 so when people get the power bank, say for example one of our LK rays, a power hub, then they would only need to decide, it would already be pre-configured because it's going to transformer it, then it will, they, they don't need to change anything because there's nothing they need to touch. Yes, because it's already set up the working moves, you just change the working moves and you could uh, automatic for the for the so the only thing they would need to decide if they're going to be yes. using it for load shaving or yeah. if, it's, if it's on grid or for grid yeah 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 okay 还有这就是因为有STS这里就设STS if you have STS so here you need it to set the STS here if there's not so so basically if we're not right so if we're, if we're, if it is an on grid only system we wouldn't have an STS yes exactly so that would be pre configured anyway so we pre configure it before we ship it yeah um, but if that setting is there mm. very good yeah if there is the transformer then you change the transformer if they're not just choosing there's nothing Right, so so that's another question. If there's no transformer, if there's a transformer used on no transformer, so a lot of the inverters on their own standard inverters that we're de developing, they will not use transformer. Power hub's got a transformer, so I understand. So some some products got transformer. Generally, on grid only, there's no transformer. Off grid, which is the hybrid system, may have a transformer. Yes, exactly. And <laughs> 不用动它，这些不用动。这这个的话就是屏幕的这个一二三的损能而已。So the module number is represent for the uh, how many models of the systems. Yeah. And then oh. could represent the AC modem, DC modem, and STS modem. So that's for that's for the communication for the is that's the this is the data communication yes. to each one. Yes. And this one is is and it is represent for the uh, phase uh, voltage. And if you want it to set up for two hundred and twenty, you could set up. If two hundred and thirty, you could also set up to two hundred and thirty. Right, so, so this is this is your off-grid phase voltage. Your on-grid would just adjust automatically. 
Yeah, so for for any uh, for for, uh, for the likes of the parameter check testing. So for example, in the UK, we've got say G100 uh, and inverter. So the tolerances on the frequency. So uh, if it goes as if the grid goes as a frequency, what how how do you set the tolerance at the frequency, the upper and lower frequency? So what I 